So there is nothing more American than a protest. And I say protest because ain't that what America been doing? What she was built on? Ain't that what them white folks did? Threw a fit in the streets, fired guns until someone listened, and once they got what they wanted, they forgot they home training. Forgot who built this shit, rewrote histories till it was so full of white lies it started to taste right, and now we can't tell the difference between education and Eurocentrism. So here we are, in the street, blood up to our hips, and we wield signs. We can all find something to protest, and still, when white people do it, they call it a party. When black folk do, they call it a riot, and there is no greater way to explain oppression, no better metaphor for privilege. The white man gets angry, it's business. The black man gets angry, it's dangerous. See, the white man packed brown bodies like meat into the bellies of ship after ship brought them to his America, and now he's got the nerve to tell us to go back to Africa. He says, Ferguson, sit down. Kaepernick, stand up, hands up, shoot. He say, you know, if they want to protest, they can do it in a way that is easy to ignore, a way that doesn't make my white guilt claw out of my saltwater stomach. I hate the way it burns. You see, he don't want to choke on all that history he kept at the far back of his throat, but now, anytime he fixes his mouth to say any version of nigga, he can't help but to cough up bones. His teeth are ivory tombstones, tongue a wilted flesh flower, and I stand before him. And I alone am the party and the riot. I am the white rapper and the black cop, the black rapper dancing on a cop car, unbothered, breathing, black joy given a body. I have both thrown the cookout and been invited to it. I am the interracial marriage that lasted till death did them part. My mother married a black man knowing she may one day have to put back together the mosaic of his splintered body knowing she would split her legs and birth an ocean, one darker than her mother. Knew her child would have her eyes, but a wider nose. But I wonder if she knew she would have to watch her heart march in the street over another acquittal. Watch her heart cry in the street as blood overflows and gurgles out of the sewers while they keep marching until it's proved they matter. <laughs>